I'll read. Come back. Um, apologies, I've been off uh, the channel for a month or so. Um, I've just had so much on doing the renovation of the property. It's just taken a lot longer than I thought, man. It's ridiculous. Anyhow, hoping to free up a little bit more time to get some more videos out. Um, so this is just a quick catch-up one, just to tell you uh, that I'm back. Uh, and that I've got a few changes going on. Um, what I've been doing in June and the plans for going forward. So, um, to start with, you can see changes. You can see my little ugly mug in the corner, hopefully, down here. Um, if all been well, I'm using a bit of new software. I'm in the lakes at the moment for eight at night, so I've got a really poor uh, mobile phone signal. So hopefully this video will work. Um, but what it does mean is the quality is not going to be very good, so I'll apologise for that in advance. Even though I've got this new software, um, it's not going to make much difference because I'm using an inbuilt webcam and the inbuilt audio of an absolutely naff £150 laptop, which I brought away with me just to do a bit of match betting and stuff. I'm trying to record a video and it's probably um, just pushing my luck a little bit far, but nevertheless, here we um, So apologies if the, I'll, try, I'll try and get the um, quality um, better uh, once I get back from the lakes. Um, so that's one change. Another change, as you can see on the screen, I'm using Odds Monkey now. Um, so I've been doing a little bit match betting in June, not a great deal. Uh, I did do Royal Ascot. Um, which you can see down here on the 18th, which was more or less the last bets I've done, really. I've done, uh, done a bet club there on the 21st, which was the result of my last got week, and um, just nothing. I've right, two things there on the 27th, but you can see everything. So I've done four bets for this afternoon, because it's the 2nd of July today. These green ones are today. Um, and I, made, I still made, even though I stopped main activity by the 18th of June has still done £251 which is quite impressive considering it uh, could have been a lot better if I'd stuck in and done a lot more from the 18th of June onwards but I just haven't had time so I'm going to try and pick that up for July. I uh, think I've already got a couple of bets on, didn't do anything yesterday. Um, with three, I've also done some uh, deliveries as well while I've been waiting for uh, materials to be delivered to the flat. I've been jumping on Uber and just uh, logging in um, doing a few deliveries. So I think I've done about 80 quid's worth in June, which isn't a lot, but then again, I've only done two or three. Um, I'm only logged in two or three times for about two or three hours a time, so it, it does work out quite quite a bit for the amount of time I've spent doing it. I will go through that in more detail in a future video uh, and the match betting. And then uh, the third thing I've been doing, so deliveries, match betting, and then uh, Betfair trading. Um, so down here, and I'm going to move on to, uh, so down here I've got, um, that's, uh, you probably lost my face there now, maybe, I'm not sure. Um, but this is a snapshot of the end of June, and you can see all the different strategies I've got running here. I think it's 13 there, unlucky for some. Um, but I'm going to go through these in more detail in future videos, and especially these bottom three. You can see the bottom three here. These are the three uh, that have been more successful in June, so I'm going to go through those in more detail. So that's just a screenshot of what happened at the end by the end of June. Um, I just took a screenshot of my Betfair bot manager uh, strategy screen. And I've set all these back to zero for the start of July, so if I go into Betfair bot manager, which is open here somewhere, hopefully, yep, there we go, um, you can see the three that were successful in June, I've actually a-listed them, I've put an A in front of them, so they're my a-list, I've turned them green and I've put the stakes on them, I was typically doing anything between 10 pence and a pound on these during June, um, and I've upped them all now with a two pound. Um, and you can see this one's doing quite well, considering it's only been run a day, but I think I've been quite lucky with that. But I'll go into this in more detail as I go um, and pick through them. I'll start with this tiny nuts one, and I'll explain a bit more detail what that is. Well, in fact, I'll do a whole video on it, explaining in detail what it is, because um, I think last month it made me £22 on £1 bets, which is 22 points. If I'd been putting £10 on, that would have been £220-odd. So we'll do that one more deal. These ones, I'm st uh, still looking into them. They've got full recovery on them, which is in some terms a no-no. 
so I will be going those in more detail. But I think in June, in June, sorry, I lost fifteen pounds in total on the Betfair trade, and um, so I'm trying to improve that for July. Um, so if I just go back to, sorry, if I can just get out of here and go back to, um, so there, I think the bottom of there, you can see I've lost uh, fifteen pounds. Uh, for June, uh, but like I say, I'm concentrating on upping the stakes on upping the stakes on these three now because they were the most successful ones for June. Hopefully that will still happen in July. Otherwise, we'll be turning them off. Um, so going back to um, back to the screen, I'm just gonna just go through my plans for going forward. Like I say, this is just a quick catch-up video concerned about the bandwidth I'm trying to upload this year so I'm just going to do a short one to see if I can make sure I can get it up on YouTube and um, so the plans are each month I'm going to do a video to show how much I made the previous month so that'll be the start of each month so I appreciate the second of July now so in the next few days I'm hopefully going to get a video out to show how much I've made on each of the three different initiatives, initiatives I've just talked about in fact I know what I've done, done 251 uh, the match betting, I've done minus 15 on the bet fair train and I've done um, about £80 on the deliveries. Um, and I'll do a video each month showing the previous month's uh, profit and loss. And then each week, I'm going to hopefully get a video out each week and go into something in a bit more detail. So, like I say, the first one's going to be Tiny Nuts, which is a bet fair trading strategy. Um, and then the weekly ones, it could be anything from like a say a best fair trading strategy through to, you know it could be match betting uh, strategy like uh, extra places anything like that if there's anything specifically that you do want to see or if you want some uh, more detailed information on then just drop it in the comments and um, if I know anything about it then I'll pick it up and um, take it from there um, I don't know if I did I mention why I moved on odds monkey just I found the software a little bit better than uh, profit accumulator plus it's five pound cheaper and that was the main two well not the five pound cheaper, but the main reason is found the software better. It's got a really nice extra place catcher, and it's also got a racing catcher, which is useful for the uh, days racing refunds. Like you know, where you um, if you bet a horse on Sky comes second or third, they'll give you your money back in cash. So if you put a ten pound bet on a horse in a selected race on Sky today, I think it was the it was this one yeah, this fourteen twenty five at Sandown, and um, they'll give you ten pound cash back. If it comes second or third, um, and the software to do that in Odds Monkey is just really, really um, easy to use, and you can record them straight into your bets, profit and loss uh, tracker, uh, like this one that's been here. That's what it records straight in here without you having to type it all in and everything. And I just find it really uh, straightforward to use and easy. So I just moved over from Profit Accumulator that. I've just to put all my totals in from Profit Accumulator in here, so this is still the, an accurate running total of my profits since the um, start of December last year. Not massive, but it, it, it's a lot better than nothing, and also I, I haven't spent the, you know, I haven't even spent half my time, you know, if you if you say a working week, say 35 hours, small working week, 35 hours a week, I haven't even spent half of that, I haven't even spent 17, I know when you have 17 and a half hours a week even doing this, so it's not even a part-time half salary that if you were looking at it that way. Um, but I will, when I do the video, monthly videos on how much I've made on each other, I'll, I'll try and put in as well how much time I think I've spent on them, and I'll go through that in more deal as well on how accurate I think that is. Um, so that's the current update and plans, so that means this video is hopefully just a little bit less than 10 minutes long so I'll see if we can get this up on the YouTube in the lakes with a uh, minimal H plus signal and uh, we'll see how that goes thanks for watching hopefully um, a good idea of um, where I'm at what's happening and what's going to happen in the future and I'll see you in the next one thanks now bye